The Oriental Theater on West Randolph in Chicago's Loop sits where the Iroquois Theater was once located. This is where one of the deadliest fires in United States history took place. At least 602 people died here on December 30, 1903, less than two months after the Iroquois opened. Contributing to the disaster was that the theater had only one entrance. The broad stairway which led from the foyer to the balcony level was also used to reach the gallery level. However, the common stairway ignored Chicago fire ordinances that required separate stairways and exits for each balcony. The design proved disastrous once the fire struck, with people descending from the upper levels meeting the orchestra-level patrons in the foyer. The largest death tolls at the base of the stairway where hundreds of people were trampled, crushed, or asphyxiated. That afternoon, tickets were sold for every seat in the house. An estimated 2,200 patrons attended the matinee, many of them children. The seating capacity was 1,600, so hundreds crowded the aisles. At about 3.15, sparks from an arc light ignited a muslin curtain, probably as a result of an electrical short circuit. Stagehands tried to douse the fire with the extinguishers provided, but it quickly spread to the gallery above the stage. There was pandemonium and carnage behind the building as well. When the performers and stagehands went out the back exit, an icy wind rushed in and made the fire substantially bigger. Also, double freight doors on the north wall, normally used for scenery, were opened, allowing a cyclonic blast of cold air to rush into the building and create an enormous fireball. It has been said that the alley behind the theater is haunted by the ghosts of people who were able to escape via the emergency exits on the north side hidden behind draperies, secured with somewhat difficult to operate desk fuel locks, only to find themselves on unfinished fire escapes. Many jumped or fell to their deaths. The bodies of the first jumpers broke the falls of those who followed them. Students and workers at nearby Northwestern University extend the ladders and bores across the alley between the university and the theater, enabling some theater goers to crawl across to safety. After the fire, it was alleged that the inspectors had been bribed with free tickets to overlook code violations. Mayor Carter Harrison, Jr. ordered all theaters in Chicago closed for six weeks after the fire. Building and fire codes were substantially reformed. Theaters were closed for retrofitting all around the country and in some cities in Europe. All theater exits had to be clearly marked and the doors configured so that even if they could not be pulled open from the outside, they could be pushed open from the inside. As a result of public outrage, many were charged with crimes, including the mayor. Most charges were dismissed three years later, however, because of the delayed tactics of the owner's lawyers and their use of loopholes and inadequacies in the city's building and safety ordinances.